Congratulations. Good month for you. Yeah, uh, good month for me personally. You know, scoring a few goals and for the football club. Uh, you know, if if you would have said, you know, we were in the top six in the semi-final of the cup, and I scored. Uh, I think it was seven and five. You know, I'd have took that at the start of the season, and we we would have took that as a football club. So uh, delighted with the start. I mean, you, you've really all come together. Although there were so many changes, you really hit the ground running in the league. Yeah, and I actually think the Betfred Cup group stages helped us gel faster than we would, we normally would without that competition. Uh, you know, just that competitive edge uh, into the games. I think it helps. It's a massive help for us. It's been a help for for us, I, I believe. Uh, and I think you, see, you, you it probably took us one or two games. You know, just to in the friendlies, just to get to know each other and get to know our, our philosophy as a football club. And I think we figured that out. Uh, and I think that's one of our, one of our main reasons we're doing well at the minute. Why do you put the um, the resurgence in general this season down to compared to the struggles of last season? Uh, I think it's it's a number of things. Uh, obviously, there's an, a lot of change, personnel uh, personnel change. Uh, I think one of the, one of the main things from from my what I think is philosophy. We we know what we're good at now. We're not caught between two. Uh, we we know our strengths and we know our weaknesses, uh, and we play to our strengths. I think that's one of one of our main things. You've caused um, quite a few defences, quite a lot of grief this season of the team with the attacking style of players. Do you think you've caught a lot of teams in surprise? Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's maybe uh, a lot of teams don't play two up top now, uh, and we've been playing two up top, so that might that probably catches teams off guard. Uh, you know, sometimes you know the other week we play three up top with Tanner in behind. So yeah, we, we you know we know what we are. I think that I've just touched on that, and I think it it does it does catch teams off uh, off guard a little bit. Most teams seem to play one with three behind. Mm. As a striker, do you prefer to be in a partnership? Uh, I don't really mind as long as I'm out there if I'm honest <laughs> but you know it is it is good to have someone alongside you and, and sharing the workload uh, I mean when you're up there on your own and you've got to occupy two defenders you know you, you, you probably get more space when you've got two up there uh, and I think the, the way we, we're doing it at the minute is, has helped me and, has, and helped the team In terms of your own future I mean there's obviously been a lot of speculation over that about what you're going to be doing next year but how easy has that been to put to one side and, and sort of refocus on, on what you've done that season. Yeah, it is. It, it, has, it was. It was easier when the games came. Uh, it's a little bit harder when you know you, you're just sitting there and you're just training, or it's the summer and you you're on the you're on the beach somewhere. You know your mind plays overtime. Uh, but as soon as I got back and I was playing games, I was totally focused. I think you see that in my play. Uh, I think if if players let it affect them, then it'll affect their performances, and that's something I've tried not to happen to me. Um, the gaff has helped me with that, and this football club's helped me with that by by just playing me more than anything. Uh, you now you see clubs dropping players and saying they're affected, but uh, I think that highlights the issue. Uh, I think you know I've been fairly consistent with my foot, with my performance, and I've tried not to let anything affect me. The manager spoke about you know how important it is for you to maintain that focus, not just for, for his club but for yourself. You know, if you're going to go on to big and better things. You can't be going in a half, you can't be letting yourself get distracted. You need to continue doing yeah. what you've been doing over the last couple of years. Well, I've, yeah, definitely. You know, it's 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 my career. Uh, you know, I've got to make the best of my of my career. It's a short career. I've got to provide for my for my fiance and my kids. Uh, well, my kid and one on the way. So it's it's about that more than anything. You know, uh, I do. I, I work hard for my family. It's like every other man who goes to work every day, uh, and that's what it's about, really. You've spoken about the warmth. That you've, you've been shown from the, the fans here how much you've enjoyed your time here. Does that, when you're, you're playing into your, your decision about where you're going to go next year, are you thinking more well, I need somebody that I'm going to feel just as good as I felt here? But you've got so much here, you don't want to give that up and then go somewhere where you're not going to get that same sort of positivity back from the fans. Yeah. Does that come into your decision making? Uh, I'll be honest, I've, I've not really thought about it. I've tried not to think. I don't think it's the right time to think about it. Uh, if we weren't playing and it was the off season, maybe I would think about it. That and I think that would be part of my thinking. Uh, but at the minute, I'm not. I'm not thinking about it. Uh, I've said many a times how much I appreciate the support from this football club. And you know, when when the bid was going in from Motherwell to to Wrexham, you know, I was unsure. I was unsure at the time whether to come. It was something different. I'll be honest. I was really liked at Wrexham, similar to how I was here. So uh, that did play on my mind back then. 
uh, I was thinking, you know, am, am I going to be liked? Are these Mother fans going to like me? Do they, they don't know me? So it was the unknown. Uh, it was a gamble. It's paid off up to now, and I've, it's up to me really. I've got to keep working hard and make sure, you know, that that keeps paying off. Hey, I was just going to say, is your school thought now? Then just keep buying those goals, and, and it'll actually just create the opportunity now because you've you've got the season in front of you. You've got the League Cup semi final. Yeah, uh, I approach every game uh, the same, and in my in my mind, I want to score in every game I play in. That's that's what goes through my head before the game. Uh, that's what the gaffer brought me in for. That's what this football club brought me for. I'm a goal scorer. Uh, if I'm not scoring goals, or, or it, what am I doing? So you know, that's what I've got to do. Uh, and hopefully, I can carry on doing it. You've been linked with Aberdeen Rangers and clubs in England. Is there a particular preference or ambition you've got to be playing a particular league? No, 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 not really. Uh, not massively. Uh, again, well, I've seen the links, and you know, obviously the bid got rejected. Uh, but I try not to think about it. Uh, I think you think about it once something gets accepted. Uh, there's no point in thinking about it otherwise. I've just got to focus on the here and now, and that's what the, that's what it's about. Hamilton on Saturday. What's your thoughts? Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I think you know we've come in off uh, off a little break. You know we won, which was important going into the break. Uh, so we go there confident. Uh, we went there and beat them last season one 0 at their place, uh, and we beat them here as well. So I think we were unbeaten against them last season actually. Uh, so you know we're confident as a bunch, but not too uh, too overconfident. Uh, if we we stick to our game plan, uh, uh, you know, it'll we'll, we'll be a good game. Given the, the struggles of last season, is it, you know, if you are moving on, then as a goodbye present to the fans here, I mean, you're hoping to what top six and perhaps a trophy. That'd be a nice way to sort of to, to sign out, perhaps. Yeah, uh, you know, if if I do go, uh, that would be, you know, unbelievable. You know, if uh, if we got to the final and I scored the winner, that's what dreams are made of, and we finish in the top six, that's what dreams are made of. But you know, that that's what I'll be thinking before the games. Put it that way. Uh, so hopefully it can happen like that.